Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org back with another video for the new Boston. Now we've already looked at selecting data from our database and we did this using the code here. If you haven't already looked at the previous tutorial that explains this code and you're not comfortable looking at this code and understanding what it does, I suggest you go back and view that tutorial as well as if you haven't looked at the general tutorial on queries and uh, using MySQL then I recommend you view them as well. Now what we've done here is we've selected um, a specific field names from this table called food where unhealthy equals you and calories equals uh, 700. So we've been quite specific and in this case we've only retrieved one value that's the ice cream value here with the ID of 4. Now what we want to do is be able to take user input in order to return specific values. So let's say I want the user to be able to specify if they want a list of unhealthy food or healthy food or maybe if they want to specify a maximum or minimum calorie amount. But for now we're just going to go for the unhealthy um, healthy food option and then the rest of that will be self-explanatory for your own purposes. So we're going to keep the code we've already got here. Um, let's just um, tidy this up a bit so it's a bit more combined. Um, in fact, we'll separate it just so it's easier to view. Okay, so what we now want to do is take user input. So we want to come down here, or in fact up to the top we could do. Let's just cut off this require here and reopen a tag there for the rest of the PHP. And we can put our HTML in here. Now I'm going to create a form and that's going to have action of the page that we're going that we're on at the moment and the method is going to be get just so we can see what's going on in the uh, URL bar at the top because eventually what we're going to be aiming for is something like uh, we're on the index.php want to aim for something like um, uh equals u for unhealthy or h for healthy uh, so we're using this get variable here to specify a value. So what we want to do is we want to create a field. Um, and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to create a select field. And this is going to be called um, UH. Um, and inside we're going to have our option. So we need option, we're going to have a first option and we're going to have a second option and these options are unhealthy or healthy if I can spell it correctly so option value equals uh, we'll just say uh, u and option value equals h so now let's create a submit button we'll go down a couple of lines and say input type equals submit and the value of that can just be uh, submit so that's what's being displayed to the user and we'll add something that's a bit more user friendly so choose a food type I guess that would be fine okay so let's um, let's first of all um, okay we'll leave that for now so let's uh, press F5 um, choose a food type and unhealthy or healthy now ignore this for now because in the PHP code we've got a static um, a, qu a static query which we which we predefined uh, so ignore this for now but eventually what our form will do is it will produce a list of foods depending on what the user selects here so now what we're doing is as well as creating our query we're allowing the user to specify things that they want to return so this is really useful in sort of everyday uh, applications so I'm going to click on unhealthy and click submit and you can see that up here we've got uh equals u and here we can say healthy click submit um, uh equals h so we're, we're we're processing get data through to the URL and then we can process that in our query so how do we do this well the first thing we need to do is inside our PHP here we need to check if these values have been submitted so I'm gonna say if is set dollar underscore get uh then proceed with all of this code here and then what we can do is indent everything we've already got inside just so it looks a lot nicer so indent that so if is set get um, uh 
and uh, not empty um, dollar underscore get uh. Now what we can do is we can say uh equals dollar underscore get uh. Now let's um, let's kill the script there and echo this out. So we know we can we're basically testing um, for this being submitted. So we'll refresh the page back to index.php. Okay, so we've got nothing there now because we've killed the page. Choose a food type, unhealthy or healthy. So let's select unhealthy first, and we should be submitted an, a U here for unhealthy. And now healthy, submit, and we've got an H there. Okay, so now what we can do is we can insert this value that's selected into our query to allow the query to become more dynamic and select the uh, food type, either whether unhealthy or healthy, depending on the user's input. Now, before we start this, there is a problem that we do have here, and we have a potential for SQL injection. And I have a video on SQL injection um, in this uh, the new bo for the series for the new Boston. So have a look at that video before you run anything like this on a live web server because you'll tend to find that queries can be modified using data so for example if I was um, submitting this this H value here is eventually going to go into a query so I could change this to something uh, it wouldn't be select star but just for an example I could change that so we can input different things into our query if that doesn't make sense now it will do in a moment so um, input equals h, uh, that's a good point actually, let's also um, make this uh, str, oh no, it'd be this, str to lower, so we're always converting this to lowercase in case people try to modify the URL and everything like that. 